Is the gospel offensive? Just how offensive is the gospel? Is there a scandal when it comes to preaching the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ? Well, consider two different people. One person, a murderer, Jeffrey Dahmer, and another person, very altruistic, very uh, much helping other people, and her name's Mother Teresa. It doesn't take very long for you to begin to work through the issues and say, what did Jeffrey Dahmer do? Jeffrey Dahmer was a serial killer and a sex offender, and he murdered 17 men and boys in ways that I don't really want to describe. Uh, he had a trial and was convicted of many of these murders, 15 counts of murder, and sentenced to 15 life terms. Uh, in jail, someone came and preached to him. And he said, Jeffrey Dahmer said, that's how I always thought anyway. I always believed the theory of evolution as true, that we all just came from the slime. When we died, you know, that was it. There is nothing. That's what Dahmer said he believed. But then he began to study the Bible. And then he began to say things like, I'm so sorry for what I've done, God help me. Dahmer said things like, I feel very, very bad about the crimes I've committed. I think I should be put to death for my crimes. There, there's nothing, any words I say to the, to the victims' families are, are just going to seem trite and empty. Uh, I, I don't know how to express the regret, the sorrow. Uh, that I feel for what I've done for their, for their sons. Dahmer even said, I don't know if you've heard, but last Sunday I was attacked while in chapel. Some guy tried to cut my throat with a razor but didn't succeed. The razor broke and my neck was only slightly scratched. Dahmer said, I believe that it was only the protective grace of our great Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that saved me from serious injury or death. Dahmer was later attacked and did die in prison. And then you think about someone like Mother Teresa. I mean, her list of accomplishments cannot be uh, given very quickly because there are so many things she's done for other people. She ministered to the poor and sick and dying for over four decades. She won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979 and received the highest honor in India for serving other people. Her missions, uh, missionaries of charity helped AIDS victims, leprosy victims, and the list goes on and on and on. But did you know Mother Teresa said, some call him Ishwar, some call him Allah, some simply God. But we have to acknowledge that it is He who made us for greater things to love and be loved. What matters is that we love. Did you know that Mother Teresa said, make your family one heart full of love, the heart of Jesus through Mary? Did you know that she said, Mother Teresa said, we gather to thank God for the 40 years of the beautiful work of the United Nations for the good of people. No color, no religion, no nationality should come between us. We are all children of God. Did you know Mother Teresa, when her longtime friend died, asked her, do you convert? Of course I convert, Mother Teresa said. I convert you to be a better Hindu or a better Muslim or a better Protestant. Once you've found God, it's up to you to decide how to worship Him. Did you know Mother Teresa said, Mary is our patroness and our mother, and she is always leading us to Jesus. Paul said the gospel is offensive. What's the offense, though? Now listen, I don't know where Jeffrey Dahmer is, and I don't know where Mother Teresa is. But if Jeffrey Dahmer believed what he said about the Lord Jesus Christ and how he was sinful, he, Jeffrey Dahmer, was sinful, and Jesus was the substitutionary atonement for his sins, the risen Savior, if Jeffrey Dahmer, by faith alone, trusted in Jesus, here's the offense of the cross. Dahmer's in heaven. And you know, if this lady named Mother Teresa, altruistic as she might be, if she is trusting in Mary, if she's trusting in anything else besides the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, no matter how many good things she's done, you want to know what the offense of the cross is? She's not in heaven. Because you can't be good enough to get to heaven. You can't do enough to get to heaven. And this turns people's stomachs. This is the offense of the cross that Paul was talking about. 
But he said, I don't know what else to tell you. I've determined to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Did you know they said of Jeffrey Dahmer, it is the sickest part of the Christian belief that their God will forgive and not send to hell a monster like Dahmer, but will burn my loving, kind, harmless, sweet grandmother eternally because she was an agnostic. I have no doubt who is the worst monster. I have nothing but contempt for his God's supporters. And a member of the congregation of the pastor who evangelized Dahmer said, if Jeffrey Dahmer is going to heaven, then I don't want to be there. Well, what about you? You might be offended by thinking, Dahmer, Mother Teresa, but you, the sinner, need to be reconciled to God. There's a bigger offense, and that offense is every one of your sins stiff arm in the face of God. How many times do you have to spit in God's face before he would damn you? And he, he offers free forgiveness, full forgiveness based on the person and work of Christ Jesus. God demonstrates his own love towards us that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. God dies for the ungodly. And so whether you think of unrighteousness, Jeffrey Dahmer, or self-righteousness, Mother Teresa, Jesus Christ's righteousness can cover both, and the only way you can receive it is through faith and faith alone.